most of the big websites out there like Twitter, Instagram, Google Search, and plenty of others like them harvest as much data as they can physically get their hands on. But there exist a lot of alternatives and a lot of interfaces to those services that are far, far more privacy respecting, where they don't have any ads, they don't have any user tracking, maybe they'll even fake information about the user if they do need to send that information back to some original service. But a lot of them are really inconvenient to use. So even though things like Knitter exist, if someone sends you a Twitter link, well, now you're on Twitter. If someone sends you a Reddit link, well, now you're on Reddit. So it's very easy to fall into old habits and just forget about these privacy alternatives. Luckily, there is a web browser extension that just does this redirecting for us. This extension is known as Privacy Redirect, available for both Chrome and also Firefox. Currently, there is support for redirecting Twitter links over to somewhere like Knitter. This also does include Twitter profiles, as well as the Twitter homepage as well. So if you go to try to visit that one while you have the plugin enabled, it won't actually let you do so. So if we try to go to Twitter.com, as we'll see, it takes us straight to Knitter instead. Not every service redirects the homepage. So going to somewhere like, say, Google.com isn't going to redirect that. But when you actually do a search with Google, so let's say... Hello World, for example, then it will actually do the redirect. Instagram links will be redirected over to somewhere like Bibliogram. Bibliogram is very similar to Knitter. Basically, it's just a very simple client for the Instagram website. Reddit actually has a couple of options. Like with your search engine, by default, the search is going to be DuckDuckGo, but if you want to use something like... Uh, start page instead, that is also supported. So by default, Reddit is going to take you to old.reddit.com because the old Reddit client didn't actually take as much data from you, but there are other options that are completely FOSS you can use instead. Any links to Google Maps will redirect you over to OpenStreetMaps, and this was added fairly recently, but if you go to Google Translate, that is going to redirect you over to Simply Translate, which can use Google Translate as its engine, but if you want it to be far more open, you can use Libre Translate instead, even though Libre Translate doesn't really work that well. And there's also support for redirecting from a certain video platform over to a far more privacy respecting client, which I'm not allowed to name because said video platform doesn't make it obvious what they're going to strike. Now, with the exception of changing your search engine to something that isn't Google and using anything besides and using anything besides Google Maps, you're still ultimately using that original service. So even if you're using Knitter, it's still at the end using Twitter. If you're using a different client for Reddit, it's still ultimately using Reddit, but far less your information is going to be sent to the owners of those platforms. If any of the redirects aren't actually working, firstly, make sure once you've actually installed Privacy Redirect, that you go and restart your web browser. I've noticed it doesn't seem to work basically at all, until you've gone and done that at least once. And then after that, make sure you actually have the redirects enabled that you want to use. Not all of them will be enabled by default. I believe most of them are, except for simply translate. But one thing you also should probably go and do is go into more options and make sure it's sending you to an instance that actually works. By default for a lot of these services, it's going to send you to a completely random instance, which for things like Knitter, or for the video platform one, or for Bibliogram, is going to be perfectly fine. Now, the reason why I've set one here for Knitter is because a lot of the instances aren't actually working properly right now and complain that my system time is wrong, which is absolute nonsense, so clearly there's something wrong on their side. The other reason why you might want to go and set it is if, say, you're running your own instance for, say, Bibliogram, and you know that's going to be faster than any of the others, or if just one of the instances is going to be faster, you may want to do that. In the case of, say, Reddit or your search engine, though, I wouldn't leave that random because if it's random, the interface is going to completely change every single time. I personally like old Reddit, but if you want to use something like LibReddit or uh, Tedit or I read it or anything else like that, you can go and do so. You don't have to go and use one of the links in this list. You can go and include your own as well. If you are including your own instance though, it does have to be an instance of something actually supported by privacy redirect. So if you're using, say, the Twitter redirect, it does have to be Knitter. If it is the video platform one, it does have to be this video platform. If it's, if it's Instagram redirect, it does have to be Bibliogram. Now, Reddit and the search engine do give you far more control, and there is a list of all of these supported services 
over on the GitHub. One thing that slightly bothers me though is when you go and have it set to a random instance, if the instance you connect to doesn't actually work, you could always go and retry that link and it will send you somewhere different. When you go and set a specific instance though, there's no way to go and have some sort of fallback or some sort of backup. So I would like to see an option where I could go and set a custom list of my main instance and then backups after that. So let's say I have uh, old.reddit.com being my main Reddit instance, and then if that's down for whatever reason, it'll go to somewhere else. If that's down, it'll go somewhere else, and just keep trying the list until it gets to the end. That wouldn't be that difficult to implement, and I think it would be a massive, massive improvement. Now, one thing I highly recommend doing, because going and disabling the redirects every single time you want to do something like modify your Twitter profile or modify your Instagram profile can be kind of annoying, what I recommend doing is going into the exception section and then adding in links for whatever your personal profiles are or whatever profiles you need to access on those actual websites are. So in my case, I have my Twitter link in here. So if I go directly to my Twitter, it's not actually going to do a redirect. It is going to try to block out a lot of the page though, blocking things like ads and other components that probably shouldn't be loaded. So you may still need to go and disable the redirect because it may still break some of the site, but it should be fine for most things. Now I'm just using a URL, but if for whatever reason you need far more power than that, you can also use a regex to do the exact same thing. I don't know why you would. Maybe if you have a bunch of profiles that are all starting with the exact same name or something like that, that might make that slightly easier. Now this extension is available on the three main extension stores, so Mozilla, Chrome Web Store, and also the Microsoft Store. One thing I do have to mention is if you are going to be using this extension, it is going to severely slow down the way you actually navigate the web. So if you go to say, you know, a Twitter link and then a redirects to Knitter, that redirect is going to slow you down a bit. Then if the instance you go to isn't working, then you have to like change to a different instance and it's a bit fiddly to work with. But if you do really, really care about your privacy and still occasionally need to use those services, it is a nice middle ground to actually have. Obviously, never needing to use Twitter would be a much better situation, but occasionally someone will send you a link to those services, even if you don't use them yourself. One thing I'd like to see in a future version is somewhere to convert a redirected link back into its original form. So if I go from Twitter to Knitter, some way to get that Twitter link back, or from Instagram to Bibliogram, some way to get that Instagram link back, because while it's fine for me to go to those services and people who actually know what those services actually are, if I want to go and send a Twitter link to someone that I know who doesn't care at all about privacy or FOSS, sending them a Knitter link is going to be kind of weird and they'll have no idea what I'm actually sending them. Whereas if I can get that Twitter link back, that would just make far more sense for them. I know it wouldn't be the most privacy respecting thing at I know it wouldn't be the most privacy respecting thing at the end, but it just makes it far more convenient. Maybe it'd be outside of the scope of the application, but I still think it'd be really cool. Something else that's really cool is going and hosting your own Knitter instance on somewhere like Linode. If it runs on Linux, you can run it on Linode. They have the distros you'd expect available like Ubuntu and Debian, but also Arch and Gentoo because why not? They've got multiple server plans available, so whether you want to host a blog or even a personal VPN, there'll be one that fits you. I'll be using Linode to host all of my community game nights. If you need help, Linode has 24-7, 365 support available by phone, regardless of your plan size. Right now, you guys can get started on Linode with $100 credit by going to the link on screen or in the description down below. Linode was in the game three years before Amazon entered cloud computing, so you know they know their stuff. A huge thank you to Linode for sponsoring the channel. Let me know in the comment section down below if you actually use Privacy Redirect, or maybe you've never even heard of it. If you do use it, let me know what instances you actually go and use. So I think that's going to be everything for me, but before I go, I would like to thank my supporters. So a special thank you to Joachim, Donald, Logan, Michael, Andrew, Nathan, David, Carl, Mitchell, Will, Brennan, Chica, Bento, Jamie, Joseph, Josh, Peter D, Steven, Tees, Through, Tony, Tushar, and all of my $2 supporters. If you'd like to go and support my work, the links down below to my Patreon, subscribe, sub, leave, pay, all that sort of stuff. I've got my podcast, Tech Over T, available basically anywhere. I have a gaming channel that I stream on twice a week. That is Brody Robertson Plays. And this channel is also available over on Odyssey. So that's going to be everything for me. And I'm out.